Hey, welcome everyone. I know there's nobody on right now, but I'm gonna get started. This this won't shouldn't take too long. I don't want my phone to fall. Let me give you an example of what I'm going to be trying to do. Something like this. It's pretty cool. I call it abstract art, but this is going to be a demonstration on how I get to that point in the painting using uh, fluorescent colors. <laughs> I have like pink yellow, orange, blue, and green. These are all fluorescent colors. You could use, uh, I'm using Liquitex. These uh, fluorescent colors are pretty good. You can find these at any art store. How I start, I'm just using water as an agent here. And I wet my brush. This is a 16 by 20. And uh, I'm just going to kind of put some cool colors up there. If you got any kids, this would be, you know, good. Something cool for your kids to do. <laughs> I think they would enjoy doing this kind of art because it's... Uh, This part's fun, and then also the part where you scratch your designs in is pretty fun as well, so. I came up with this uh, idea probably about a year ago, but then I got into heavy with uh, landscapes. I do mostly landscapes now. So I decided to start doing some of these pieces for uh, shorts, uh, YouTube shorts, and they're doing pretty good on the shorts, maybe you've seen a few of them, I'm going to try and do something a little different today on this one. I'm wearing gloves because I make a mess when I do this. <laughs> I really make a mess. But the whole idea is just to get a cool design underneath. And then once I put the black on top, all these colors will shine through after you start putting your designs in there. I got green. I got fluorescent green. So the whole idea is just to get some cool colors underneath, okay? Any design you want. It's all going to get covered with black. And then these colors will shine through uh, wherever you scratch it. I use a, a palette knife and I use this uh, like putty knife. There's anything that you can scratch the surface with a work. If you just join it in, if you haven't seen this before, this is what I'm attempting to do. The colors go underneath, the black goes on top, and then you start making your designs, okay? It's really simple. I 
think, uh, like I said, if you got some kids, I think they would really love to try this, or even you. <laughs> I like doing it myself, so I've come up with some pretty cool stuff in the past. But like I said, I just I quit doing it for a while. I like the bright colors underneath. You don't have to use fluorescent colors, but it does help. All right, there's, I think I got enough color up there. So that's going to be the underpaint. Almost looks like the colors of an Easter egg, huh? <laughs> we got to let that dry. Let me show you something I did last year with the same technique. It's a little different, but see how I did that one piece up there on the wall? I just I scratched the wet black I had a different type of uh, spatula with lines in it to create all them lines I don't remember what I did with that thing but for this one I'm just going to be using a regular uh, palette knife to scratch my designs in got this big I don't know what these are called <clears throat> but I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna use to put the black on and then you just start scraping your design in it's pretty cool pretty cool uh, technique I'm letting this dry this has got to dry before I can put the black on it It's Monday morning here in Seattle. I already went to work. Uh, I'm going to put my black down. Let me show you the palette. I usually keep the colors on one side and then the black on this side. And then I can grab the black with the uh, spatula to put it on. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get black all over my hands. All right. If you just tuned in, you'll have to go to the beginning and I'll, I, I guess I can show you the colors I use. Right now I was drying Liquitex fluorescent colors okay green blue orange pink yellow red whatever colors you want it's pretty cool it's pretty cool how it works i think it's about ready I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the black up there now and uh, <coughs> make some cool designs, I hope. <laughs> There's a couple of you in here watching. I had six people in here a while ago, but they all they already turned tuned out. Oh, they're back. All right. I'm going to put the black up now, so don't leave yet. Because <laughs> this part goes fast. Uh, you got to do this quickly now. Put the black on. This is acrylic black. The 
about all you need. You can leave some of the edges uh, undone. I like to wipe this thing off with a rag now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some big designs in first. Get some circles going today. All right, there's the main, the main part. I'm gonna start using the uh, pallet knife to do smaller lines. When you do circles, they look really cool, and I haven't been doing them because it's hard to get it to turn. But look at that. That looks wicked. Man, I like the circles. I don't I don't usually do that design. Wow. And you just keep layering keep layering on top. Uh, you're not gonna lose all that stuff in the back. You see the big ones I made? They're still in there. And you, you have time to work it. Uh, I like to make these things that look like spider webs too. You just scratch lines like this. And then that one didn't come out good. Let me do one here. Just use the tip of the knife. Wow, these are coming out good. Wow, I really like these circles. I didn't put my canvas in tight enough. But you get the idea. You can see some of the colors uh, coming through underneath. I pretty much use yellow and pink, it looks like. talking about but I don't want to do too many of those I like the way the uh, circles look let me look at this I kind of like that I think I'm just gonna leave it at that for this one uh, so you can see all the cool designs in there See how cool that looks? Wow. Yeah, I really like that. Just a lot going on in there. You could keep going more on top if you want, but I, I don't want to overdo it. I think there's enough lines in there. I think that design looks pretty cool. All right. I think that's uh, going to be it for this one. sell these I mean you can 
they can hang them any way they want, you know. Let's see what it looks like this way. It's abstract, so I mean, you can hang it any way you want. It looks pretty good this way. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I know there's a few of you in here. I appreciate it. And go back and watch the beginning, how I started it all. And we'll see you on the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. I do, I do a lot of landscape painting, man. Uh, you have to check out my channel. Alright, cheers.